Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading. I'm not doing tarot this week. I, um, I'm just feeling like I need a break from tarot. Uh, so I'm going to just do oracles this week and uh, see how it flows. Because holy cow, how is this moon, full moon, lunar eclipse for the rest of you? Um, I am an Aquarius sun with a few planets in Scorpio. So this, this Scorpio full moon lunar eclipse, um, it did not take me out emotionally. I normally like have a lot of, I mean, I had some things come up, but a lot of things I was able to kind of be with and clear pretty immediately, um, and just be with, but, um, yeah, I definitely noticed a lot and um pretty excited about what's to come so let's talk about aquarius aquarius is my son uh innovators um um sort of i want to say disruptors because you know we rule uranus um and i mean this is like a moment in time for aquarius to really shine right we have almost prepared ourselves you know just by being in aquarius we've prepared ourselves for um, this time frame, and so I'm actually very excited to um, to see where this goes for Aquarians. This is this is really like a um, we're the we're kind of the innovators. So we get to step into the unknown first, almost. You know, I mean, others will come along with, but it's almost like we get to be just as the card says um we get to be the creator so i drew the um i'm going to say this probably incorrectly you're a gnome and this is the um chathotic goddess of creation and how incredibly freaking perfect right we are in like with chaos comes innovation and creation and revolution right and so i feel like this is this is the time and i realize like we've been through a lot of transformative energy and it's been kind of draining i know i am definitely feeling the drain um but now is not the time to back down now is the time to actually step up that much more and so um you know maybe it's time to change things up hence doing oracle this week instead of tarot like that just, I mean, I don't know. I have some ideas where I want to go, but anyway, uh, I digress. <laughs> um, but maybe it is creation. Maybe you're going to create the next big thing or you're shifting the thing um, or whatever. Uh, I remember when I first started talking about studying astrology, one of my coach friends was like, have you, do you know any other blind astrologers? Is there something like you don't have to pave the road? And uh, I still can't find. So if y'all know any blind astrologers or people who can't see the charts, I can't see the charts. I can understand the transits. I can understand the elements and the planets, but I cannot look at a chart and tell you what's going on. There's too many lines and things going on. And so that's what I watch astrologers for so that I get a, a knowledge or a grasp of the astrology. Um, and then I um, interpret it or feel into the energies intuitively my own way. Um, and so, but this creation card, I feel like it's freaking perfect for Aquarius because this is our moment to create, to start innovating, um, to, to, to really shine bright and be the light of the newness of what's to come. And so I thought that was very perfect for Aquarius this week. This was from the divine, uh, ancient feminine wisdom oracle. And then from the um, believe in your own magic, we got confidence. It takes time and practice. Um, you know, I am an avid crocheter and I often get new, you know, people who are just learning to crochet. And of course they want to be ambitious and they want to, you know, jump in and crochet an Afghan. And, you know, sometimes they pick a simple pattern and sometimes they pick the most complicated pattern and they think it sounds simple and they get about five minutes into it and they realize this was not a good idea. And, you know, well, how do I learn tension and how do I learn this and how do I learn that? And honestly, crochet or any yarn craft such as that, literally, there's no way of not having time and patience. Um, you know, I've been crocheting for 16, 17 years, almost 17 years. Gosh, uh, it does not seem like I've been crocheting that long. 
And there's probably nothing I can't crochet that's not, you know, I mean, I have my limitations, of course, but in the yarns and the techniques that I use, there's really nothing that I can't crochet, but that took time and patience. That took time and lots of ripping things apart and lots of tears and sweat. And <laughs> so, you know, and it's going to take a lot of time and patience to build that confidence as we create this new world um, or create the new items that will be in the new world, right? Like, we don't know what this looks like yet. Um, you know, I strongly feel like this is a revolution. I mean, we do have Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Capricorn is systems and structures. We know that the United States Pluto return is coming. So it could be, you know, there's going to be some sort of shift in the United States for sure. Um, and I just really feel like Aquarians are going to bring some energy of some type. And, you know, typically think of Aquarius as very technological. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, I'm, you know, kind of a techie, you know, pretty good, at, pretty tech savvy, uh, but that doesn't mean that what I'm going to bring to the world has anything to do with technology. Um, I definitely help people with technology, but I don't make that like, a, it's not a priority for me to work in the area of technology. Um, but anyway, so step into whatever you have been limiting yourself from holding yourself back from. Um, I really strongly invite you to just get super clear. If this moon didn't clear shit out for you, then keep diving in, honey, because this is like clear as clear can get. Like it's time to declutter the bullshit, in, you know, the bullshit mental blockages that you've got going on that make you feel like you're not confident or not skilled or not ready for this next thing. Cause you're ready. I promise you you're ready. You're ready to create the new thing. You're creating a new life. Um, you know, I kind of woke up yesterday and I was walking the dogs and I was like, damn, I don't even know who I am right now. Like I just feel different. Um, and I'm still not, gra I haven't grasped, grasped what all of that looks like yet. So I hope you found this to be helpful, Aquarius. Um, this is such a powerful time. You've got Jupiter in Aries, which is very like fiery, abundant, expansive. Um, Saturn is still camping out in Aquarius. Uh, like I said, Pluto's retrograde, Mercury is retrograde. So that might be cleansing uh, some emotional stuff and um, definitely clarifying some communication. So maybe it's just communication with yourself or even communicating with your closest peeps. Like, you know, I really need to go in this direction and can you be on board with that? And if they can't, maybe it's time to make some choices there. Um, you know, Chiron is like the, um, Chiron I believe is an asteroid. Don't quote me on that, but you can look it up. Um, but Chiron is hanging out in Aries. And so it's maybe digging up some, wounds deep within you that you don't understand because Chiron deals with ancestral things. Uh, Venus is in Aries. So we've got the, the sign of, or the planet of money and relationships hanging out in a fire sign. Um, so lots of a variety of energies going on that just sort of cater to, and lots of big transits with those energies that just sort of cater to this shift in our beings and transformative. And that's what I feel transformative time. So ride the waves of this transformation, ride the waves of your own innovative self and create something new and bring it to the world to share. Remember Aquarians, you are the individual and the collective, right? You're the individual and the collective. So create, you know, innovate and create with yourself and bring it back to the collective. You're here to share it. I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you a ton. If you'd like a private reading with me, we can do tarot, we can do Oracle, or I can just feel into your energies and support you in whatever way um, you choose, or I feel is coming up and out. So uh, you can email me below for that private reading. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye Aquarius.